Democrat presidential candidate Senator Kamala Harris is defending Medicare for All, saying it's not a socialist takeover of the health system. Watch. I strongly believe that we need to have Medicare for All. And within that system, there... Do you think that's socialist or not, Medicare for All? No. No, it's about providing health care to all people. It's about understanding that access to affordable health care should not be a privilege, it should be a right. Okay, let's bring in GDP Advisors President and health care expert Seth Denson. Seth, your reaction? Well, listen, we have to remember that Senator Harris has been an attorney for about 30 years. So I think what we have here is a little bit of lawyering going on. We're, we're restructuring the definition of socialism, which means that the community has the control of distribution. And in our representative form of government, the government would have control. So while this might be 95 percent socialism, it's certainly not capitalism. Well, it would wipe out 150 million, 180 million insurance plans. Everybody would be on the government line for health care, right? I mean, how are people going to pay, taxpayers going to pay for that? Well, taxpayers, it's through taxes. That's exactly how it would be paid for. Everything goes up, the costs go up, and that hits the middle class directly through employment tax, through payroll tax, and then just through the overall structure in which we access the system. You know, it's striking that Kamala Harris's home state of California said no to single payer, no to Medicare for all because it would bankrupt the state. So to Vermont, so to Colorado, so to the state of Washington. And you know what's interesting too, Seth, that Democrats like Senator Amy Klobuchar, she's expressing skepticism about Medicare for all. So is Sherrod Brown. So is this a winning issue or not? Well, it's, it, it makes for sometimes good politics, but it's a terrible policy because at the end of the day, it has to be paid for. And as mentioned earlier, the devils are in the details. And when this comes out and people realize that they're actually losing access to health care, uh, the American citizens, by polling numbers, aren't in favor of it. You know, Bernie Sanders' plan, again, wiping out all health insurance. Uh, do Democrats understand that Medicare has private insurance in it, in the Medicare Advantage and the Medicare Part D? I mean, it's based on private market insurance. It is. It's structured. They're, they work together. And so if you eliminate the private pay system, Medicare itself, itself would have to be completely restructured as well. It just doesn't work with one without the other. You know, we are seeing states expanding Medicaid. Listen, we want to take care of the poor. This country is very generous. Taxpayers want the poor taken care of. Is there a system that you can see that would do that? Well, the rest of the world has the luxury of a socialistic type of system because the United States doesn't. We're responsible for most of the innovation. And so our free market system is still the best system out there. We do need to infuse transparency into the system so that the free market system can work appropriately. And if we can do that, if we can restructure some of the ways in which our system works, it's the best in the world. That's a great point about pricing, including for doctors and hospitals. Final point, right? That's exactly right. The free market system works when the consumer has the information. Seth Denson, you're terrific. Come back soon. Love seeing you. Great insights there for from me. Seth Denson, medical expert, healthcare expert. And we want to thank you for having us in your homes.